if you look at a number line here, and we have this solution set graphed on the number line, okay, from negative three to seven, what you would normally do is you'd say like this, x is greater than negative three, but not equal to, and x is less than or equal to seven. So that closed circle means equal to, the open means not equal to, and you can see x is sandwiched in between the two values. Now when you switch to the interval notation, you still think about the number line and, and working from left to right or from low to high. And so you can say, okay, here's negative three and here's seven, right? But negative three, I'm gonna use a parenthesis or a curved bracket indicating that it's not including negative three or it's open. All the values up to seven and including seven, we use the square bracket. So that tells us this is like a closed circle, okay? So if you can think about it on the number line, it'll be easy to think of low to high or left to right. And you just have to think about whether it's a open, which is a parenthesis, not including that point, or a square bracket closed, it does include that point. Let's look at another example. This one here before, we would have said x is less than or equal to five. So equal to because it includes that point, less than because you're shading to the left. But when you're working with the interval notation, you think about going from left to right or low to high, and you can see this goes all the way to negative infinity, right? So negative infinity all the way up to five, including five. So we use a square bracket. Now, 